Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got three farmhouse projects. Let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. For the first project, you'll just need this basket. After spray painting it white, I painted all of it using the Waverly chalk paint in the color hazelnut. I wanted the basket to have more dimension, so I made this gray color just to go over the whole thing. For the X in the back, I use the extra long skewers. Just put them where you want them and cut off the excess. I felt like the basket was looking a little muddy and dark, so I finished it off with some white paint. To add the X on the back, hot glue the corners and then just secure it to the back. To finish it up, I use this greenery from Walmart to make a wreath. Our second project is going to be a key rack. We're going to use four stir sticks for this project. Two of them will cut right where it starts to curve and the other two will measure and cut at 8 inches. We use these popsicle sticks to connect the pieces and to create some support as well. Next, we're just gonna paint the whole thing white. We use the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. We use these hooks from the Dollar Tree to create the key rack. You want to make sure you measure each side so that it's centered. Once you have it all centered, I just use the pencil to mark the two holes. That way I can take it off, put some hot glue on the back, and then put it right back on the same spot. We also use these thumbtacks from the Dollar Tree. I just put a little hot glue on the end and then pushed it into the wood. Thank you. 
Next we're going to use this waste basket from the Dollar Tree for the chicken wire effect. We ended up using this Rust-Oleum forged hammer spray paint to give it more of a metal look. Next you want to glue it to the back and then trim off the extra. To distress it, all I did was take some black paint and go along the edges just to give it more of a weathered look. The last part, we just need to make our wreath. We ended up using this greenery from Walmart. It was 97 cents each. We used just a little over one. I ended up using hot glue and a couple zip ties. I found that that just helps hold it a little bit better. And for the last project, I grabbed this plastic tray from the dollar store. After spray painting it white, I added this fresh produce stencil that I got from Joann's. the tray I added a black outline all around the edges. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.